Well, in a speech before a joint session of Congress, President Obama said, ultimately, our recovery will be driven not by Washington, but by our businesses and our workers. And the people we're going to meet today could not agree more. Our focus today is on entrepreneurship in Oklahoma, and we begin with a gentleman who knows just a little bit about it. Over his dynamic career, Vince Orza has been a small businessman, corporate executive, TV news anchor, university professor and dean, and candidate for governor. A diverse background that's common thread is his willingness to put it all on the line. Well, what is old is new again for Vince Orza. As general manager at KSBI Television in Oklahoma City, his career has come full circle. There's no way you can ever be successful in life if you're not willing to fail. It is the price of admission. If you're not willing to take the risk to succeed, then along the way, you're going to fail. Nobody bats a thousand. You're going to be wrong. You're going to lose a job. You're going to get fired. People are going to die in your life. Things are going to be dark. Can you get back up and try again? If you go into business and it doesn't work, I mean, you just roll up in a ball and never do anything else again. No, you've got to be willing to risk failure to enjoy success. And most of us have more success in our life than failure. You know, in some cases, if you're, you know, if you're Bill Gates, the success is astronomical. If you're Vince Orza, the success was good. And success has been good indeed for Vince Orza, but not just in television. He's tried his hand at all things, from teaching to running his own restaurants, placing his bid for governor, and even becoming the dean of business at Oklahoma City University. I was a kid, a junior in high school, who was told by my guidance counselor I wasn't college material, I shouldn't apply, I wouldn't get in, or if I did, I wouldn't make it. Well, here I am, I'm 20 years old, and I'm teaching kids who are 17 or 18. I mean, really, there's not much difference in our age. Then I'm 21, and I'm teaching at a community college where the, most of the people I'm teaching are older than me, Vietnam vets coming back to get an education. I wind up at UCO where I'm sort of in the middle, I'm 23, 24, 25 years old, maybe as, as old as 30. Um, and and I, I think back now, what did I know when I was 25 years old that I possibly could have been teaching people? You know, the time to become a great teacher, at least in business, is when you're 50 or 60 and you've got a, a lifetime of experience to kind of say how that theory really works in practice. Mm -hmm. And I think that's probably why I love teaching, because I want to practice what I preach. And that is exactly what Orza did when the professor turned entrepreneur decided to open a chain of restaurants. Most people fail at entrepreneurship. Most people get into business with themselves after they get fired from their company and think, you know what, I got a great idea. I know a recipe for pancakes. I'm going to open up a pancake house. Never realizing, you know, working for somebody else is pretty easy. You get a check every week. You work 40 hours. You go home. The headaches, you know, are somebody else's. When you own your own business, when you go home, the headaches go with you. I remember when we started Garfields, you know, I'm sitting there paying the bills. I mean, I didn't have an office. I worked out of my kitchen. You know, and I got a stack of bills this high, and I got a stack of cash this high. Uh-oh. You know, you got to figure out who's going to get paid. I didn't get paid when we started Garfields for a year. But I didn't have enough money to pay me and all the people who worked for me, and I know I can't quit. I got my money tied up in my company. If I don't pay you, you quit. You go to work someplace where you do get paid. So I think entrepreneurs are people who understand there's going to be some sacrifice involved in starting their own company. And I love being around people who have that, that energy, that willingness to, to do without while they build their business. And anybody I know who's ever been successful will tell you, you don't make any money right out of the box. You, know, you, you may go a long time without making any money. You may have to mortgage your house, sell your car. You know, you quit your membership at the country club. You stop going to the movie. You stop eating out because you need the money to run your business. Most people fail. It's the people who are really willing to sacrifice and to keep trying that succeed. A business philosophy that's helped Orza throughout his Standing career. Orza says has invariably led him throughout his life to write where he needs to be. Admiral Greg Slavonic. I've gotten to create five or six television programs. When I'm 61 years old, I'm, this is, I'm like a kid in a candy store. And willing to put in the work to make things happen. I have a five second attention span. That's why I like having two or three jobs. I get bored quickly. And so I love the creative side of advertising and even creating restaurants and being a dean and talking to kids about what they could do with their life. And then a television comes back into my life again, you know, would you like to fix a broken TV station? Yeah, sure. 
someone said to me, how do you know how to fix a broken TV station? I said, I don't. We'll figure it out and we get there. I didn't know anything about restaurants. I didn't know anything about being a teacher. I didn't know anything about being a news anchor on television. But I love opportunity. And again, I'm willing to risk the failure of being a fool and maybe being an idiot in front of God and everybody else on TV. But I was, I was successful at it because I worked hard and I surrounded myself with people that were smarter than me. Perhaps Orza's greatest accomplishment is the belief in which he lives by. You don't quit. And if things don't work, you try something else. You don't quit and think, well, that's it, I tried it. If you want to succeed in life, you keep trying. Sooner or later, maybe lightning strikes and you hit a home run.